Hey friends, it's Tracy. Welcome to today's video. I am sharing how I decorated this green and white checkered bunny. Now I had created these bunnies last year. I have a video tutorial of how I created them, how I put the fabric and attached it to the bunny. But this video is showing how I made the bow on my Easy Bow Maker. It is one of my favorite ways to make bows now. I'm going to show you how I did it as well as how I decorated this cute bunny with this green and white checkered fabric it turned out so cute the twig bunny is something that i had on hand that hobby lobby was offering in years past i don't seem to find them this year but fingers crossed that they have them in the future okay so um to i've already got my fabric on and uh, i'm going to show you how i made the hanger for the back i just used a pipe cleaner and then some of that canvas fabric Fabric. This is from a reverse canvas project, so I keep that. And uh, what I do is just glue the pipe cleaner on the back. This grapevine bunny is pretty lightweight, so I don't need anything real heavy to hold it. But um, I just, you know, attach the pipe cleaner to the back, and I use part of those um, that canvas to cover it up, so it looks nice. Okay, I am using these ribbons for my bow as well as the greenery flowers and different uh, embellishments. I'm also using my Easy Bow Maker and my affiliate link will be in the description box below because I love, love, love this thing. Um, I My promise to y'all is that I do not use or, pr or promote anything share anything with y'all that i do not use myself okay so this just helps you know with extra fingers i guess you know just making bows all right so i have this two and a half inch burlap and uh, i probably you know left probably about a six inch tail five to six inch tail so then now i'm making a four loop uh four inch loop bow and uh and so I gather it in the middle, put it in between those dowels, and then I twist it so that, you know, uh, even though this is burlap where it, it's kind of like it looks like the right side is on top. And so then I'm going to take that tail and um, kind of position it the way that I want. And to the idea is to make your... Um, bottom loops a little bit lar larger and then just as I continue to add my layers of ribbon I will add them you know like a, ha a quarter of an inch or a half an inch smaller that way then when I get to the last ribbon I will have the smaller loops and then that just kind of makes the layered bow. The key to making 
big beautiful bows is the layering and so that's what I'm doing here I'm taking some two and a half inch wide ribbon as well as some one and a half one and a half inch wide and I dovetail the ends by folding it together and then I take my scissors and cut it like in a V cut and then that is called dovetailing your ribbons and it just makes it look nicer now uh you know the ribbons that I am using in this bow are either from craftoutlet.com hobby lobby uh, Sam's Club, uh, Walmart, uh, Michaels. There are quite a few places that I find really cute ribbon. And I try to pull the different like colors out of, since this is a spring bunny, I'm pulling out different greens, pinks, uh, some ivory color, and just making all of these patterns and everything work. And so what I like also is just by uh, positioning my tails a different way. I don't make um, like two loops I'll just make a loop and then two tails and then I'll make another loop and make the tails go another way and so that just gives the interest to the bow uh, and it just gives you know just a lot of cuteness to these projects like this so I'll just continue to layer my ribbon and until I get to you know the top and then on this particular bunny what I did for the pink tails is I rolled them up and kind of then let them fall so it looks really nice. Mm -hmm. 